Sabra hummus issues a recall of 30,000 cases of classic hummus after listeria was found after a routine testing. Now the CDC says three people in Texas have the same strain of listeria found in Bluebell ice cream. In tonight's health alert, we show you why doctors say many people do not have to worry about dying from listeriosis. First, Bluebell ice cream, then Sabra hummus. Now, three people in Texas are sick with the same strain of listeriosis from the Kansas hospital where three people died. While the CDC doesn't say when the people in Texas got sick or where they are, Baylor Scott and White family physician Katie Greiner says many people don't need to worry. It's rare and it's self-limited. So usually that means that after about two days, the infection clears itself up. People who eat contaminated food often experience vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and muscle aches that last about two days, just like a stomach bug. It doesn't get killed like other bacteria do by refrigeration. 90% of people who get listeria infections are in one of those high-risk groups. She says people older than 65, pregnant women, and those with weak immune systems are most at risk and can develop severe, potentially fatal symptoms. People that are immune compromised can get systemic infection like meningitis, and they can get septic and have disease everywhere, and it can make them very, very sick. If they're sick appearing, then they typically go in the hospital and get IV antibiotics. But where does listeria come from? The CDC says animals can carry the bacteria without appearing sick and contaminate the foods they produce. People typically get it by eating foods with unpasteurized dairy, like certain milks or cheeses. The good news? Healthy children and adults occasionally get infected, but rarely become seriously ill. Doctors also tell pregnant women not to eat uncooked meats or deli cold cuts. They say anyone who has eaten the contaminated food like the ice cream or the hummus in the last two months technically still qualifies to be treated. Now here's something that uh, Chris, I've been thinking about, you know, what if you have eaten these contaminated foods like hummus or ice cream, but you're not experiencing any of these symptoms? I mean, that's a good question. The doctor that I spoke with today says you should be okay as long as you don't fall into one of those high risk categories, old, pregnant, or a weak immune system. If you do start having symptoms, though, doctors say you should go in to see them right away. All right. Thanks so much, Chris.